the topic of the video is uh, the plane wave solution uh, for uh, uh, Dirac's equation. Dirac's equation for a relativistic uh, uh, free particle is uh, is given by this equation number one uh, involving the uh, alpha and beta matrices, uh, which are defined as uh, 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 in terms of uh, the uh, poly spin uh, uh, matrices vector sigma and uh, uh, identity matrix i yeah, and uh, we can actually see that these alpha and beta are actually 4 by 4 uh, matrices uh, that's because these uh, zeros here is actually a uh, 2 by 2 matrix with the zeros and the same thing for, for the zero as well and here uh, i in uh, beta is again a 2 by 2 matrix uh, uh, i mean 2 by 2 identity matrix and zero is again uh, uh, 2 by 2 zero uh, matrix so the uh, wave function uh, psi must actually be a uh, 4 by 1 uh, uh, dimensional uh, matrix uh, uh, so that uh, its uh, dimensions is uh, consistent on both sides of this equation so we can actually take uh, our uh, wave function psi rt as a uh, column uh, uh, matrix uh, with uh, dimension 4 and uh, each uh, components of these uh, uh, column matrix can be having uh, the uh, form of a uh, plane wave with uh, amplitude u sub j and uh, with this uh, phase factor where this j runs from uh, 1 to uh, 3 until 4 and uh, these uh, size sub j's are actually eigenfunctions uh, of the particle uh, with uh, uh, energy uh, h cut uh, omega and uh, momentum uh, h cut uh, k bar respectively and if you substitute uh, a component uh, of uh, this uh, wave uh, vector psi j uh, from equation number two in uh, equation number one that was the Dirac's equation then uh, we will see that uh, i h cut into dou by dou t operating upon this uh, equal to the stuff in the uh, open bracket there and then uh, uh, psi sub j so we get this when we do the uh, partial differentiation with respect to time to the exponential uh, factor so we get uh, minus i omega in the uh, i mean uh, in the in the bracket here and exponential as it is and on the right hand side we will have uh, uh, the stuff just as it is so if we cancel out exponential factors on both sides uh, we are left with h cut omega into u sub j is equal to this factor and uh, since h cut omega is also written as uh, energy of the particle we can uh, write e in place of that and if you actually write down uh, uh, these uh, uh, for i mean uh, for different uh, j, uh, uges uh, we can combine them into a single uh, kind of uh, equation involving uh, u matrix uh, which could be uh, with all these uh, uh, elements in the column uh, column matrix so we can write uh, this equation as equation number three and for the simplicity of mathematics uh, uh, we can actually define this u matrix as some capital V and ca uh, capital W matrices where this capital V matrix is uh, involving uh, just these two uh, uh, first two elements of the uh, column matrix and then capital W matrix uh, will, uh, will involve the last two elements of the column matrix. So in terms of these uh, capital V and capital W uh, matrices uh, as a, a column matrix, we can define this equation number 3 like this. I mean we can rewrite the equation number 3 like this. And uh, as uh, alpha sub i, uh, I mean the component of uh, alpha vector, uh, ith component can be written in terms of uh, the polis matrices uh, like this and then beta matrix like this. So if you do alpha dot p, then we can write uh, uh, this like this. So when we take uh, these uh, form for alpha dot p and then beta into this equation here, then we can write uh, the first term with the c into alpha dot p plus uh, uh, beta is uh, i0 zero, 0 minus i mc squared operating upon this uh, column matrix uh, v and w left hand side we can still have as it is but uh, right hand side we can do uh, addition of matrices after multiplying with mc squared and then see here we get this and when we do the multiplication of uh, these two by two matrix to this column matrix we get this 
uh, column matrix and when we compare uh, the uh, column matrices on the left hand side and the right hand side we can write E into capital V is equals to this stuff which we can call as uh, equation 4.A and then uh, E into W is equals to this much which we can call uh, 4 point B and uh, if you rearrange these uh, equation 4 point A and 4 point B we get these two equations and then uh, uh, this uh, I mean uh, in order not to have a uh, trivial solution for uh, V and W we should have uh, the uh, determinant of uh, uh, this thing uh, equal to zero and if you solve for uh, uh, e from this uh, determinant uh, being set to zero then we will quickly find that uh, it will be e square is equal to this much involving uh, sigma dot uh, p whole squared but uh, I am not doing the complete mathematics but if you do the sigma dot p whole squared it will give us uh, p square into identity uh, matrix so we can write this thing as p square so if you write so then uh, we'll see that energy is equals to plus or minus uh, square root of c square p square plus m square c power 4 which we can call as equation number 5 and uh, it says that even for the case of uh, Dirac's equation for a free particle in relativistic uh, regime of speeds we'll have uh, the energies being uh, both positive and negative just as it was uh, suggested uh, by uh, klein jordan uh, equation Next, uh, we'll try to actually find out uh, the eigenfunctions uh, for uh, uh, the uh, eigenenergies, uh, both uh, positive and negative, for the free particle by using uh, Dirac's equation. So, uh, Dirac's equation will have actually four eigenfunctions, uh, two of them for uh, the energy being uh, uh, positive square root of uh, c square p square plus m square c power 4. Uh, where we take uh, v is equals to 1 0 uh, first and then v is equals to 0 1 later on and then uh, solve for uh, the uh, w's uh, in each case so that we'll get two eigenfunctions for this uh, e plus and for the case of uh, e uh, energy being uh, e minus which is equals to negative of uh, square root of c square p square plus m square c power 4 we again uh, get uh, two eigenfunctions and uh, in that case we set uh, w is equals to 1 0 once and then uh, 0 1 later on and then try to find out uh, the uh, form of uh, u for uh, these two cases so if you use uh, this uh, e uh, equation uh, 4 point b we can actually calculate uh, w uh, uh, vector for uh, the, the case when we have v is equals to 1 0 since the equation uh, 4 point uh, uh, b has got uh, sigma dot p let us try to consider uh, uh, i mean calculate this uh, sigma dot p which we can write uh, uh, sigma x p x plus sigma y p y and sigma z p z in component form but uh, these uh, sigma matrices are known like uh, 2 by 2 police matrices like this so if you write these things and if you use the p x p y p z as they are we'll see that it will quickly add up to this quantity uh, and if you define uh, p plus as px plus ipy and p minus as uh, the same kind of thing with a minus sign in between then we can write uh, sigma dot p as in terms of uh, p plus p minus and p just like this and from equation number four point uh, uh, b for uh, energy uh, e equals to e plus we see that uh, w is uh, just uh, c into sigma dot p divided by e plus plus mc square Squared into v so if you assume v is equals to 1 0 then if you use this equation we can actually uh, write down w like this and if you do the matrix uh, multiplication we see that uh, w is equals to c divided by h uh, e plus uh, plus mc squared into pz uh, and uh, p plus in the in the column matrix so we can write the first eigen vector as uh, 1 0 for v and then uh, uh, this thing for uh, our w and we can call this as u superscript 1 and this is our first eigenvector if you still use that uh, 4 point uh, b equation for the case of uh, v is equals to 0 1 uh, we can write again uh, the uh, matrix uh, w 
as a c by e plus plus mc square into uh, sigma dot alpha matrix which is uh, this one and then uh, w uh, v which is 0 1 and if you do the matrix multiplication will see that this being equal to this quantity so we can write uh, the uh, second uh, eigen uh, function as uh, v which is uh, 0 1 and then w which is uh, this quantity here and we can call this as u superscript 2 for the case of energy being uh, e minus uh, we can use uh, w is equals to 1 0 uh, in one case and w is equals to 0 1 in another case and we can use uh, equation 4 point a to actually calculate uh, v uh, which we can write uh, like this and if you use uh, sigma dot p which is uh, just this matrix here and for the case of w is equals to 1 0 we'll be able to do the matrix multiplication like this and get a v like this so we can write the, the third eigen vector as a, a v which is this two column uh, elements and then w which is one zero so this is our third eigen vector which we can actually denote as u superscript three and for the case of w is equals to zero one again from equation number four point a we can write uh, v as uh, this expression here involving uh, the alpha dot sigma matrix uh, i mean alpha dot uh, p matrix and then uh, this is uh, w matrix so if you do the matrix multiplication we'll see v being equal to this quantity and if you write down the total eigen uh, vector which is uh, uh, here v and then here it is w so it will become this which we can call uh, u superscript 4 and uh, in the uh, in the non-relativistic limit this uh, momentum p can actually approach uh, uh, i mean can be very very small than mc value so in that case your uh, e can tend to plus or minus mc squared so e plus will be mc squared and e minus will be minus mc squared uh, th this will be our eigen energies and then uh, uh, when this uh, p p goes to zero then uh, these uh, matrices uh, u uh, i mean uh, these uh, column matrices u1 u2 u3 and u4 will become 1 0 0 and then 0 1 0 0 0 0 1 0 and 0 0 0 1 like this that's it in this video and thanks for watching.